After two years of non-traditional Masters tournaments, people from all over the world stepped off the course and into nearby restaurants. News Channel 6's Bria Smith spoke to business owners who have experienced Masters Week, some for several years and others for the first time. You spend so much time going, oh, it's the Masters that's coming, and you're preparing for it. And everybody's a little on edge. And once it's over, you can kind of breathe a sigh of relief. The owners of Bees Knees have the owners of Bees Knees have seen more than 20 Masters Weeks. They say 2022 was a big one for them. Their usual flow of customers is steady with locals who visit regularly. But during the Masters, things tend to fluctuate. During Masters Week, it's much more like you'll get really, really busy, and then all of a sudden, there'll not be a single person in here for like two hours. Another restaurant that's had a few swings at Masters Week is Fat Man's, where owner Brad Ushry says they generally serve during lunch hours, but this year saw more of a need for catering services. So we had, you know, four or five homes we cater to. We do a big concert every year where we do the uh, catering. 2022 was the first master's experience for the owners of La Michoacana. We thought, and it was our first time observing the masters, we thought we are going to be busy, you know, but unfortunately we were slow. Owners are already looking forward to seeing what kind of business master's patrons will bring next year. In Augusta, Bria Smith, WJBF News Channel 6.